Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of my Let's Play series, A New Dawn. So if you guys remember from the previous episode, we did just find out that Dawn is pregnant. As you can see, we have a moodlet here that she's eating for two. So she's just made dinner and Tommy has just returned from work and everything like that. So we're going to have dinner together and then she's going to share the big news with Tommy. But I just wanted to get straight into episode 2 as well. She's just going to call him to meal. Okay, and then we'll just wait for Tommy to get here, and they'll have dinner together. Okay, and I can hear Honey whining, but we will check on him after. Let's share the big news with him, because she can't wait to tell him anymore. Oh, George. Oh. Carrie has a new. Look at them. They're so excited to be parents, or soon to be parents. Okay, let's check her moodlets. All is well. Okay, Dawn's partner took the news of the pregnancy rather well. They're open to having children and are glad to share this experience with Dawn. What a relief. And then she's just happy about eating for, him for two. News well received. Dawn's partner reacted very well to being told they are the other parent for Dawn's latest child. Latest child, as if she has other ones. They reacted really well to that, so I'm really happy. Um, let's just put this away now and then we can get ready for bed. But Dawn is really happy and excited for this whole pregnancy journey that she's about to embark on. Let's call Honey to eat. And yeah, I don't know what to do with Honey right now because he can't go up and down the stairs, which is why in the last episode he kept crying because he needed to pee, but he wouldn't go outside. And I don't really want to modify how the house is. Um... Like, it's these stairs over here, and I don't really want to modify the house, so... I'm just gonna play around with keeping Honey outside for the majority of the time, and then possibly, like, just manually picking him up and down to, like, bring him inside and outside if we want to spend time with him inside. Um, and if it gets too annoying, I'm probably just gonna age him up soon. Okay, and let's ask Honey to lie down. Come on. Okay. Jump through the wall. He's so small. He's sinking into the cushions. Okay, and I don't know why she's wearing her new everyday outfit. Um, just ignore that. But it's time for them to go to bed now. It looks like we're going to need to do some laundry as well. Because it seems their hamper is too full. Which is why they've started to put their piles of laundry on the floor. So I think Tommy's going to make Dawn some breakfast. I don't know what to have. His cooking skill is not great. Okay, well, it looks like he can literally only make eggs and toast, so I guess we'll just stick with that. Okay, so Tommy's just making breakfast, and Dawn is up, and she has a craving for sweet food right now. Look at her just chilling in her underwear. She looks so cute, though. Look at her little pregnant belly. Okay, I think we'll freshen up and we'll take a cold shower because she's quite flirty. And then let's just fix her makeup for the day. Oh, wait, let's brush her teeth first. We'll brush her teeth. And then we'll fix her makeup and put on some perfume so she feels good. And Tommy's just handling the laundry. Wow. <gasps> he's just doing it all autonomously. I don't even have to tell him to do anything. Okay, we will have breakfast first. Look, she's got her pregnancy glow about her. Hello. Let's send Honey off hunting because he likes to do that. I think he looks a bit dirty, so I guess... Yeah, we'll give him a shower after this. Okay, so now Tommy is just doing the gardening for Dawn while she steps out to the supermarket. So he's just doing the weeding and then he'll harvest um, some of the plants that they have so that they can make some money. And then we're going to get started on his aspiration goal, which is the fabulously wealthy goal. And I think we're only 300 simoleons away from hitting his first milestone mark or whatever it's called. But we're going to do an odd job so we can hit that today. Okay, let's look at Dawn's aspirations. She wants to read to a child for two hours, become a parent, and socialize with your child ten times. So I can't really get started on her aspiration until um, she actually has her baby. So we'll just focus more on Tommy. She's really angry. Hmm. Maybe we can send her off to do something fun. What could we do? 
This is the social activities mod by Little Miss Sam. Um, let's go to a book club since she likes reading a lot. Okay, so Dawn is just going to go off to her book club and hopefully she feels a bit better after spending some time with them. Let's see. From another Sims pregnancy. Why does pregnancy have to be so tough sometimes to think that for every Sim born, a Sim had to go through this? Okay, he's just feeling kind of sympathetic, I guess, for her crankiness. Um, okay, let's take an odd job. Oh, he's crying about it. Wow. Let's distract ourselves. Okay, so Tommy's finding an odd job right now just to make some extra cash. Since I never work on aspirations, but this time I want to actually try to. What pays the most? This one will pay 156 total. Last minute beach party. In need of waxing. I don't think he can do that. Oh, okay. Right. I thought it was like bikini waxing, but I think it's this girl's surfboard. So I don't even know if he has the skills to do that though. I don't think he does. Let's just do this beach party thing. Tommy's gonna go travel down to the beach. We're gonna find a barbecue pit at the beach and I don't know, I guess we'll see if we can make it there. Oh my god, I should have just picked another odd job. This is so <laughs> random. Yeah. <laughs> So going to Solani for 156 simoleons, not worth it. Oh my gosh, it literally costs 148 simoleons just to cook this Kalua pork. Wait, maybe because I picked a grand one. Let's just do a regular feast. Okay, it's still $111. Wow, this is so random. I don't even know if I'll leave this in. <laughs> but anyway, Tommy is now making the Kalua pork. Oh, is singing a part of it? Oh, he's just practicing. <laughs> no, don't swim around right now. Okay, so Tommy's just at the local beach and his Kalua pork is now cooking. And it looks very elaborate and very traditional, but I don't know how long this takes. Oh, Tommy's earned $99 on his holiday. Wow, that's so traditional. I love it. That's so cool. Look, babe. It's cooked in vine leaves or banana leaves. Yeah. Okay, so Tommy's Kalua pork is now cooked. So we can grab that and mail it off to our customer. Okay, so Tommy is now just mailing the Kalua pork to his customer. And we got some money. Success. Oh, it wasn't the best pork the host had ever served at the party, but it was food. Tommy pulled through, so he got paid. Okay, we're just literally like $14 off hitting that aspiration goal. Time to go shower. So I found a rock that he's gonna dig at and maybe we can find some collectibles to sell. And then there's a plant over here as well. We can harvest all. Oh, I think we have to mail this in to like figure out what kind of fossil it is. Okay, this should be enough. Yay! Yay! We finished our first aspiration thing, or whatever it is. Okay, so we finished the first one, going for not broke, and now... Um, although this one was a bit of a cheat with a 10,000. I mean, you could have just said that they had that money before when they bought the house anyway. But this one, from here on, we will just earn this by actually earning it. But we need to have $20,000 in reserve and have earned 25,000. Wait, let's look at Honey. Is he all clean? Okay, Honey's looking a bit cleaner. Good. And he's spending some time inside. Let's add some money into the piggy bank, especially since they know now that they're gonna have a child. Let's start with 100 simoleons. <gasps> Wait. Guys, it's working! The cuddling mod works! I don't know why they weren't doing it before, but it finally works. I'm so happy to see this. Oh my god, I think I know why. I think it's because I was pressing sleep until alarm rings, but you actually have to press the regular sleep option for the cuddle mod to work. I think that's what it is. Wow. 
Okay, so it is the next day and today will be um, the day that we'll be having our family over so we can finally share the news with them. So we will be having them over later tonight. But I think Dawn is going to go out with her best friends so she can share the news with them as well about her pregnancy. So we are now at the restaurant and Dawn is just placing their orders. Okay. So starting with our first person, we have here Lindsay Kaplan, and this is Dawn's best friend. They've been friends since they were children, and she's pretty much just as close with her as she is with Alexis. It's kind of always been the three of them, um, and then it's just kind of grown from there. But she also lives with her little toddler, Peyton. So this is the Kaplan family, and I actually downloaded them off of Elle Chris's gallery. So they are her sims, and I just chucked my own CC on them. So this is Mariah Harris. This is actually the mayor of Port Sim's daughter. So Mariah is one of Dawn's best friends and she is definitely the most materialistic one out of the group as well. As you can see, she's in her Fendi. Her family does have a bit more money because her dad is the mayor. She studies at Foxbury. So she did just come down for the weekend um, to visit her family. She likes to come down to Port Sim every weekend as well, but she does stay in Foxbury while she finishes her degree there. This is Elsa Brand. So Dawn actually knows her through Lindsay because Lindsay and Elsa are actually cousins. Elsa's been living in Port sim for a while now and she actually came from Windenburg with her best friend Samuel Hoffman which I will introduce you guys to later but they're staying at Lindsay's house and helping her take care of Peyton and yeah they do have family in Windenburg but they just wanted to move and live independently so they moved in with Lindsay because they are quite close but Dawn has gotten really close with Elsa as well so she is a part of their little circle they're just at the sushi restaurant in town and it is actually part of this whole shopping strip. So this is just a shopping strip in Port Sim. It's next door to like an Urban Outfitters. And then behind, we actually also have a, um, a little yoga studio. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so their meals have arrived. Look how cute this looks, oh my goodness their little sushi rolls. Okay, so she's now sharing the news with all of them. And they all seem very happy for her. She's kind of just doing it one at a time because I wanted everyone to have a reaction to it. She had a first kiss with someone. Oh, her and Romeo are starting to really like each other. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so for some reason, Mariah's just dancing, but I was looking at her moodlets and it looks like she had this first kiss moodlet. So then I had a look at her romance and she has a romance with Romeo. So you guys haven't met him yet, but Romeo is part of their bigger friendship group. Romeo is one of Tommy's best friends, but... Yeah, Mariah and Romeo are actually staying at um, Foxbury together. They both attend Foxbury and they've been best friends since they were younger. And the romance is actually pretty high and it looks like they've had their first kiss and I haven't even played them yet. I literally haven't even played them. I just saw that it's part of her moodlets, but that's so cute. That could be a cute little side story. And it looks like she's got negative romance with Jared. So I think she used to date Jared and Jared is her ex-boyfriend. So that's why they have this negative romance because I think Jared cheated on her. But yeah, that's a cute little backstory with one of our side characters. So they have finished their meal and paid for their bill and everything like that. So Dawn is now going to go home because Tommy's probably returned from work by now. She's just going to prepare a meal quickly and then have her family over to share the news with them. Okay, so it is later in the day. Tommy is now home and they have prepared their meal. So Dawn cooked up some drop chair for her family and Tommy has bought a bottle of champagne and some chocolates from work just to celebrate. And Dawn will just be sticking to the chocolates. But now that they've made dinner, they are going to have their family over. Time for everyone to eat. Oh, look, Cyrus is here as well. Honey's come to join them. There's Daisy. Look at him, he's having a glass of champagne already, getting started on the alcohol. 
The family is pretty much here and they're just going to be having dinner now. There isn't a lot of table space, so some of them will probably be eating inside. I have introduced them already, but just quickly we'll go over them. And this is Rosemary, Dawn and Daisy's mom. This is Dawn's dad, Sol. And this is Dawn's sister, Daisy. She's super cute as well. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. This is Tommy's brother, and isn't he so cute? Oh my goodness. I love Cyrus. So let's compare. This is what Tommy looks like. So this is Tommy. So if you guys notice a difference, they have the same birthmark beauty spots. So by their eyes, they have two beauty spots on each side of their eye. They have that identical and that's kind of like their birthmark, but they do have different colored eyes. So Cyrus has blue eyes while Tommy has like a hazel green, but Cyrus also has a extra beauty spot on his cheek as well. So that is the difference between them aside from their different haircuts. And Tommy is a bit more tan because he spends more time outside from his labor job. Yeah, look at them. They're just eating. Okay, we need to have some more champagne, guys. Oh, Tommy's collecting the dishes. I love it. Gorgeous. Okay, so Dawn is just about to tell her mom the news. Oh, her mom is so excited for her. Oh, she's got a good reputation. Okay. Now Dawn is going to tell her dad and sister. Look at them. Yay, they're all so happy for her. I love it. Okay, I was just going to check if Tommy could be the one to tell him, but he doesn't have the option to share the big news. So we'll just tell him ourselves. Okay, so Dawn is coming to tell Cyrus the news now that she's pregnant and she wants to tell him separately and just privately because they are really close friends. So Dawn actually did meet both Cyrus and Tommy in high school, obviously, and they were actually kind of a trio and they were always all best friends. And then Tommy did ask Dawn out to be his girlfriend, but the whole time Dawn and Cyrus have always been best friends. Okay, he looks happy. Okay, he's happy for her. Yay. Oh, okay, what's he talking about now? Cyrus has gone straight into telling her a story. But yeah, look at them. Okay, look at these besties. Oh, he's just hugging her because he's so happy for her. Okay, so... Tommy did ask Saul into the other area of the house just so he could get him alone and ask him something very important. Okay, and it looks like Saul responded really well to whatever Tommy just asked him. Okay, and he also just talked to Rosemary about something. And it seems like she also responded very well. So both Cyrus and Tommy do have a really good relationship with Dawn. They used to always come over to her house as well and hang out. So their families were really close. It looks like Dawn has retired early and she's gone off to bed already. So I think Tommy will just clean up and everyone will be making their way home now. Cyrus and Tommy are just having a drink together. They're just having some champagne and watching a movie together. Or just watching some TV, just having some quality time. I think Cyrus will be spending the night at Tommy and Dawn's house. Okay, so Tommy and Dawn are now heading off to bed. It is the AMs, so it is quite late. And Cyrus is sleeping over. So he is just sleeping on the couch. His long body just trying to fit on the couch. And the TV's just been left on. So it looks like Cyrus is up early the next day. So he's just playing with Honey and I think he'll take him outside to pee. Okay, so it looks like Tommy's alarm is going off. And it has woken up Dawn as well. She does not look happy to be awake. Okay, 
purpose of life shares a fear of unfulfilled dreams honestly i'm gonna cheat that away because i hate this moodlet it is so annoying she's craving sweet food um and she's got some morning sickness oh okay she can't even throw up why can't she throw up like i know it used to be a thing where she could throw up because she had morning sickness oh my god seriously guys she needs to mop okay so dawn has just been a bit emotional and upset because of her hormones and she's really craving sweet food so i think because tommy has worked cyrus will take her out to lunch um or to a nice cafe and just getting get her her sweet craving so they're just gonna go off so they're just gonna go off dawn's gonna get ready and then they'll go out Okay, so they have just arrived at the shopping district and they're gonna get some bubble tea. Um, and Dawn is just really upset, clearly. I'm just stopping by some shops. Cyrus is just having a browse. I love this. Okay, wait, let's look at the shopping district. Oh, Dawn's mom is calling. <gasps> oh my God, Dawn's mom said, we've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure it's a huge responsibility. What do you think? You know what? She's going to say, try for that baby. Let's be pregnant at the same time. Why not? So this is the front of the shopping district. I think on the right, we have a little um, bakery or cafe. In the middle there, we have a cute bubble tea store. And then we have a clothes store on the very left. And like, look at this other side too. It's so cute. Um, oh, wait. Oh my God. Don't you guys just love autumn? Like, I love fall. Look at these pretty trees. It is just so beautiful. This is Port Sim 2, by the way, which is in Newcrest. This is the back of the shopping district. Oh my god, the detail. The little trailer. Not even little. But the trailer as well. So cute. These are the stores that we have. We have a little bakery store over here. And then there's a cute bubble tea store and then a clothes store or i think this is a thrift store actually so it's a cute little thrift store oh this is the changing rooms and this might be another area i think it's just another area to the thrift store and then upstairs we just have some storage and i think whoever okay this is abandoned so no one is living here but these this looks like it used to be like some old apartments but i love this build oh that is so cool Okay, so Cyrus is just ordering her drink for her. So he is just going to get her a chocolate bubble tea while he gets himself a strawberry matcha tea and not Dawn choking on her drink, of course. Oh, and that's what you get for trying to down it in one go. She literally just finished it in one go. She didn't even sit down and talk to him, really? Okay. So Cyrus is just participating in comedy night. He's just telling some jokes and, you know, he's trying to cheer Don up, which is actually really sweet because Don has clearly been upset and just a bit tense all day. Oh, and she's enjoying it. And we're just going to go ahead and take some selfies together for the family portraits and to commemorate their time. Okay, so they're just hanging out at the thrift store now. Okay, so Cyrus is just looking for some clothes. And I think they also had some new sentiments. So let's look at their sentiments. Okay, so he is a detective at the police station, high school graduate. His traits are gentle, neat, and family oriented. And they're good friends. They're actually best friends, perceived as very attractive, which is normal because they, you know, he is Tommy's twin. So it would be concerning if she didn't find him attractive. They are deeply connected. And he's also deeply connected with her. And he has some sentiments, which are like friendly advice. Um, because Cyrus remembers when Dawn listened to his problems and shared some thoughtful advice. And Dawn has a powerful bond with Cyrus that is a source of strength and comfort. That is so sweet. I love it. I love their relationship. I love that they're good friends. And they're just getting another bubble tea. Oh, she is not feeling well. She's feeling hot. I think she's getting some hot flushes or flashes. Oh, she's feverish. Okay, so Dawn is also feeling quite feverish. Um, so I think we're going to take her home now. Okay, so Dawn is home and she is feeling not good, clearly. She has a fever, so we did just buy some medicine. So let's just take that now and see if it works. Oh. 
Okay, good. She's feeling better. Okay, so Dawn is just reading a book now. That's all she's been wanting to do, to be honest. Oh, look at her. She's flipping to where she's up to. Anyway, I think we're going to check on our university application today as well while Tom is at work. Let's see. I hope she has already received her results. Okay, let's get our mail. Okay, I think we just got our university letter. So, oh my god, let's just check. This is the scholarship result. Let's check that. Congratulations, Dawn won the scholarship education for all, valued at $500. Amazing. So she has a $500 scholarship. University acceptance letter. Why can't I read it? Um, Let's try placing it in world and see if I can read it. Girl, you're just dancing. Why are you dancing already? She's dancing because she just got her scholarship acceptance letter. Look at her happy dance. Okay, but let's look at our university acceptance letter. So Dawn did get accepted to a distinguished degree in communications at the University of Brightchester, which is exactly what she needs to become a journalist. So that's what we're going to enroll in and we're doing four classes. She's going full force and she will just be um, studying from home. And we do have our scholarship. So a we do have a $500 scholarship and we have a $300 scholarship merit thing. Is that for the distinguished degree? Well, anyway, what matters is we only have to pay $160. So that's super easy. Yay, she's in university. Dawn is just excited and telling Tommy the good news that she got into her um, into her course. Tommy's like, you know what? I'm going to take you out for dinner. Let's celebrate. Okay, so we are now at the restaurant and they're just ordering their meals. We're at the Stargazer restaurant in San Maishuno because Tommy was like, you know what, this is a really special occasion. We're pregnant and you got into the university degree of your dreams. So he wanted to take her out to the city and just get out of town for a little bit. But I'll show you guys a tour of the restaurant. Okay, so this is what the restaurant looks like. It's so pretty. Look at it with the nice sky. Oh my goodness. But yeah, that's just the restaurant. It's got these loungy areas right here. And then it has these pool areas as well well but it is like a lounge and club and restaurant kind of all in one it has this little party area over here where people can dance and this is the inside so i actually did get this off the gallery so i'll write down the name below but i did modify it so over here this was just an open area before and i added the kitchen and over here we have like the chef station so i did turn it into a restaurant i don't think it originally came as one i think it just came as a lounge so i did modify it a bit to turn it into a restaurant but you can get the original build um on the gallery okay he's just gonna ask how his day how her day with cyrus was so tommy's just asking how she enjoyed her day with cyrus um and she just said they're best friends, but pretty much she said they had an amazing time. And as you can see, they got themselves a glass of alcohol, but Dawn is having a mocktail. She's not drinking any because she is pregnant. Dawn's already finished eating her dinner. Okay, let's just talk and be all romantic. He's complimenting her appearance. Express fondness. He's gonna declare his love for her, and then he has something special to ask her. Hey, where are you guys going? Ooh. <gasps> Wait. And Tommy is proposing to her. And it looks like she said yes. And they are now engaged. So that is what Tommy was asking her parents the other night when they were over. He was asking for their blessing to marry her and to propose to her. And they did say yes, as we saw from their good reactions. 
Okay, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one, but stay tuned for episode three. The storyline will definitely be picking up a lot more as we are going to be approaching um, halfway through the series. Definitely stay tuned for that. There may or may not be some tea to be served, but I can't wait to see you guys in that next episode and I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>